Uh -huh, your spiritual head. Reverend Samuel, today, I am here again. Hmm. I am my senior pastor. Pastor Opong, a very strong man of God in our end time. Yes. He's been into the ministry for years. And it's not a joke. He is here um, for us to share the word of God. Certain secrets, certain knowledge that Christians ought to know. Yes. You get me? Yes. Pastor, how am I telling lies? It's okay, true. Pastor, you are welcome. Fine, how you. are you? By the grace, I'm okay. doing great. Pastor, pray and let's go ahead. Okay, uh, we begin this program in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Lord. Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Mm. Pastor, how are you once again? I'm doing great. We thank Almighty God. <laughs> so, today, I am here. What do you want to talk about on this interview? What I want to talk about is uh -huh. protection. 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 <laughs> That's what I want to get in, more insight. You want to get insight into protection. Yes. God bless you, Pastor. Yes. This is a very and highly important question, Pastor. Protection mm -hmm. is highly important to the life of every human being and to the Christian or the world worship. Yes. Protection. Now, this is one of the major keys. Mm -hmm. Christians we lack in our worship of what? Of God. Protection. Major key. Which is hindering our heart, our Christian heart. worship. Now, someone will ask, what is protection? Or will you ask me? I'll ask you. What yes. is protection at all? Protection in uh, simpler terms is securing or guarding something which is valuable or important to you you understand yes yes in our local dialogue they say oh boy dear who here with them i hope i go by yes you protect or you guard or you should against something which is important as it is. like your money you get me it's true because you don't have the strength to protect your money you send your money to the bank true or false true when you are hiding your money in your, in your room, do you hide it at a place anyone can see? No, 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 no. Never. No, no, you no. hide it in some secret spot. Please. <laughs> Where your wife and your children cannot get access. It's true. Even if your wife and children will not take it, an external person like a thief a will thief. come and what? Take it. So that means because there is a thief, no, we also need what? Protection. protection. So protection is something against yes. evil things, yes. evil forces, yes. harmful yes. things. Yes. It's true. You get me? It's true. Mm -hmm. So that is the meaning of what? Protection. protection. Mm -hmm. If that be the case, who needs protection? Abba! Hmm. Pastor, mm -hmm. see, God himself needs protection. protection. How much more we? <laughs> yeah. Someone will ask, hey, what is this man of God saying? Yes, let me prove it to you. Maybe I like proof. Yes. You and I know mm -hmm. in heaven. A war or a fight happened, true or false, Pastor? It's true. Revelation yes. 12, 11. Thank you against God and what? Satan. His own people he created rebelled against him. Now, what was the reason? The reason was for Satan to overthrow what? God. God, God was on his throne and during the, 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 the relationship. Then Satan guarded a number of angels to one rebel, third. yes, one third of the angels, angels. to go and overthrow. Cool. Someone will say, cool. cool. Alice cool. Yes, in heaven. Mm -hmm. God too was not sitting there like that. Mm -hmm. He had angels surrounded by him with his mightier angel called Angel Michael and some warriors angels, angels. Protecting, him. protecting him himself, the almighty Imagine. God. <laughs> so if he himself, the almighty God, needs protection, how much more we? Now, he sent his holy begotten son, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. John 3, 16, John 3, 16, because of the love. Yes. Jesus was born into the world. Mm -hmm. He came. Mm -hmm. Three wise men or spiritual men went to Jesus to go and uh, pay a visit and do spiritual offerings to Jesus. That was Frankincense, good and men. Now, the king at that time, King Herod, heard that a new king has been born. Hey, a new king has been born. Let me go and see that king. Because how can I be king? And another, another king being born. That means my kingship is in danger. danger. So he needs protection. Herod himself needed word protection. protection. Because if he does not combat that king, he will go down. down. So he was to go and kill 
Master Jesus. Then God knew the essence of protection, so he sent an angel to go and tell Joseph, the parents, that is, yes, Joseph, the father of Jesus, that take your little boy, run away as a form of what? Protection. Against who? King what? Herod. Who was an enemy. And this was the last time I was teaching people that God himself has enemy. That is Satan. Jesus had enemy, Herod. We also have enemies. It is a must. So if God needs protection, protection. Jesus needs okay. protection. We also need what? Protection. As for we, they are our own, there is very more. Because more. when the, the fight happened, God had to choose those enemies who rebelled against yes. God onto this earth. Yes. And he said, you have him, be at peace. peace. F, yeah, you are dead. Yeah. <laughs> so that is even the first place we should tell you that as a human being, you need what? Protection. Protection. Against evil forces. Against witches. Mm -hmm. You see? Rulers of darkness, principalities. Yes. Against we ourselves. Yes. You get me? Yes. Against we what? Our ourselves. Because some have good mind, some have evil mind. mind. Your wife will be there. Dead. Another man knows you've married your wife. You pay dowry. But he will do everything to come and take your wife. Your business. Someone will travel from here to north to go and destroy your business. You understand? Your children, your family. Your so family. we need protection. protection. So everybody needs what? Protection. protection. That is the answer to your question. If that be the case, when do we need protection at all? When? So when? <laughs> when? Yes. Every day. Every, every day. time. They asked Jesus, mm -hmm. Master Jesus, how should we pray? Mm -hmm. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us what our trespasses. Ask him to forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead yes, us not into what? Temptation. You get me? Yes. Lead us not into what? Temptation. This is what Jesus is telling us that. We should seek protection. protection. Now, when we, when we even fall in that temptation, now, you say, what oh, deliver yeah. us. Because this says you we were weak. So we have to protect yeah. ourselves. So that when evil forces and evil people bring temptation to come and destroy you, like someone can come and tempt you, insult you, mm -hmm. you get angry, mm -hmm. you retaliate, you mm -hmm. go and hit the person. Mm -hmm. The person falls down or the person gets hurt. Then he sends you to put the uh, police station. He's giving you problem. That is temptation. Temptation. You understand? Yeah. So you have to protect yourself against yes. such evil forces. So every day you need what? Protection. Tomorrow, when I wake up and I'm going to town, do I know what will happen? No. Yes. You don't know. Someone can just take a cutlass like this and just cut you mm -hmm. or hit you like that. Mm -hmm. The person can be a normal person or can be a mad, a mad person. person. So daily. Yeah, you need what? Protection. protection. This incident which happened, mm -hmm. the policeman that was shot mm -hmm. by the armed robbers. If you knew that one day, yes. a day will come no. where armed robbers will shoot him, uh, wouldn't he have protected oh, himself? He have Fast, Kura! You understand? Yes. So because he doesn't have protection, his life has been cut short. short. Every security officer, whether a soldier or a police, needs what? Protection. protection. One against catalas mm -hmm. or meta. Meta. Against bullets. bullets. You see? Mm -hmm. Against dangers. Yes. You understand? It's true. Mm -hmm. So God has given us knowledge in various forms of protection. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. That human being needs. So we need protection every day, every time, every hour. Like you are a pastor. Mm -hmm. You go to a party. Mm -hmm. People are eating and drinking. Mm -hmm. You don't know your enemy there. Yeah. They can put a drink, they can bring you a drink and put poison, poison in, in it. it. Do you know that maybe next four years someone will poison you? you so know. you have to protect yes. yourself. Yes. Now there's a kind of protection we can do for you against food and drink. When we do it for you, uh, someone poisons you, uh, the glass or the cup or the drink the person will be bringing, it will fall down before it reaches you. So the so the, the evil for evil manipulation will never what, touch you. Touch. So for the glass will, 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 will crash, it will fall down. Yeah. If it is a food, the food, the person bringing the plate, the food will fall down. 
even if the food has already served on the table, when you take the spoon that you are going to eat, automatically the engines controlling that kind of potential will make the what spoon what fall down. down. Then it will tell you that yeah. this is a signal that okay, there is that. some danger in the what food. Yes, <laughs> you get me. It's true. So every day you need what protection. Protection from the first day you were born. Our fellow Muslims know when they give birth to a child. A child. There is a protection they do for that child. Mm -hmm. Seven days, yes. Monday, Sunday to Saturday. So they write it from the Quran, mm -hmm. then they give to the child. The child they will bath the child. Mm -hmm. Seven days, yes. they will secure the life of that child. When the child comes, he or she is highly protected. No evil, no evil. The destiny of the child has even been what protected. You understand? Yes. Asthma. You can never come and look at the child with an evil yes. eye. And give the, the, the child yeah, asthma or any evil sickness. That is why Muslim children don't suffer sickness. Mm -hmm. But we, the Christians, mm -hmm. when you give birth to a child, after one week, people will come and look at the child. You see? Mm -hmm. If the person is a rich or wizard, you know, no. Mm -hmm. You see that you give the rich, yeah, you, the rich will give the child spiritual sickness. You understand? Yes. How can a small baby be born and have asthma? How? Asthma is a spiritual sickness. Yes. You see? So Muslims, when they protect themselves, but we Christians, we don't have that kind of knowledge. You get it? So it is a daily requirement. Me, as I am here, I know I have to get protection the rest of the days of my life. So when I move, I prepare myself. When I go and encounter an event where there is maybe shooting or fighting, I know I have protected myself so I don't fear. If they shoot, see soldiers, and police these days mm -hmm. <laughs> by hard shooting. By hard they shooting. shoot you now. Nah. Touch him now nah, to not enter. enter. You use the herbs. Mm -hmm. eh, the herbs now nah, and the Bible verses and other that things of nature. nature. You shoot me to not enter. Kai it you can never enter. Because. You catch me, catch last. Mm -hmm. Kai on my head. Yeah. Still grandy. People are sitting there for our best to go and get those kind of protection. Instead of they getting those protection, you have a big shop. You will not protect yourself. Sure. Araba will come, he will shoot you. Pa, he has killed you. They are taking all your money. You go and meet God there. God is saying you are a flesh yeah, human being. Because you didn't what? Protect, protect yourself. Yourself. So protection is daily. daily. You get me? So me, I protect myself. Our marriages, mm -hmm. you know we protect marriages. It's true. But Christians don't know we protect marriage. That is why when two people marry, one year, two years, yes. confusion. confusion. Because witches and concern and nonsense people, do they come into the they marriage. Have, they envy you. They envy you. So they bring confusion. Yes. But the Bible said, as you have anything tied on earth, yes. it's tied in heaven. Yes. So when you marry, you have to tie the marriage. Because you say, man, this is man. Man, this is woman. Right. You leave your family right. house. You leave your family house. You come together. Right. Pastor, when I don't tie this thing, it is still two, two, physically it's two, two. You've married as one who, mm -hmm. spiritually, it is two. two. But when we tie this thing together, I can hold it as one. 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 Now, when I tie it, can someone untie it? No, no, no. Because no. I have tied it in on earth. Right. Heaven has so what? Tie it. You have protected your heart. Marriage. So divorce and separation will never come to your heart. That's why Muslims don't have ah! divorce. How can Muslim have divorce? He has married one, two, three. He has protected his what? Marriage. Married. So for better or for what? For worse. They are still there. Happy. Christians, we lack a lot. We are joking. Mm -hmm. Pastor, which question yeah. again? How can we get protection? Yes. Nice question. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways, ways. Forms, forms of protection. Mm -hmm. Let me quote you. Mm -hmm. One time Satan was moving around, then God told Satan, mm -hmm. Brother, why are you going up and down? You see, I'm, I'm moving around the world. So have you seen my servant Job? Job. He's a righteous man, the whole world. So Kai, you are telling lies. It's because you have blessed his son. Mm -hmm. You've made him ready. That is why he fears and, and he's following you. I trust my servant Job. He said, no. no. Job is a fake person. God said he's a genuine person. He said, okay, you dear, let me touch or let me harm Job. And see if he will not curse you out. God say me, I know Job's heart. I am in his heart. He's also in me. So he will never curse me. Curse me. Okay. 
So it was a debate. A debate between Satan and God. It wasn't easy, oh. Uh -huh. hmm. The two people who fought in heaven, you uh -huh. see where they've met. They've uh -huh. met on heaven, they are also <laughs> arguing. Arguing, communicating. They yes. are conversing. Uh -huh. I was telling people we don't pray against evil forces and witches. When they thought I was telling lies. Is not this Satan, mm -hmm. same Satan who will bear against God in heaven? It How come they are now conversing yes, about someone? Mm -hmm. Did God kill Satan? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Christians are funny. Hmm. So he said, okay, I'll give you the mandate or the go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, go and destroy Job and let me see mm -hmm. if you guess him. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Satan say, relax. Ah, you, this God, you have protected. Let me enter the Bible so that Christians will see that we are not joking here. Hmm. Job 1 verse 9. Verse 9. Job 1 verse what? 9. Verse 9. Check. Hmm. You are worshipping God, you don't know that you have to get protection. And you are there praying left and right or necessary praying. Where is the Job? Check. This is here, they are joking. Hmm. Ah, Bible. Hey. Uh, see, Pastor, I love this verse too much. This is one of the greatest verses in the Bible Christians have to know. Protection. Yeah, no. That day, God opened my eyes and I saw this verse. I cried for Satan. I said, Satan, you are champion. You are champion. Do you know why? You know everything. Satan was educating us. He was teaching yeah. us something serious. serious. Satan, him Christ is teaching us. Your pastor Christ is not teaching you. Going to give correction and tight, and you are suffering. Your business is not going on. Your marriage, once you the promise and fail, come and see. Satan teaching us. Let's enter. Hmm. You say what? Job 1, verse 9. Why shouldn't he? When, when you pay him so well, Satan coughed. You have always protected him. You see, you are asking me when. You see what the Bible says? Always you need what? Protection. Because the Bible says, Satan is roaring like what? A lion. lion. To devour what? Roman lion. So if you are not protected, you what? You will crush you. You have always protected him. Look at how serious this thing is. God has protected what? Satan. Two. One. Why? Two. And his home. His home. So when you have protection, no thief, no arroba can come to your house and come and still even a pee. Because you have certain kind of protection. Mm -hmm. Your business center. I do it for the market women. Uh -huh. Those who have the shops and their containers and the stores. Yes, they can pass that. Tell him. The Arabs have come to either they frob you, they frob you, they frob you, they frob you. That's left with me and some other women in our shop. The way we are afraid, you know. Say, Kai, don't fear. Get me money, I know what to do. You see? Yes. God said, Jeremiah 3 verse 15, I will give you shepherd or pastor, spiritual knowledge, wisdom and understanding to feed you with the scriptures, the understanding of the scriptures. There is a protection we do for um, people who sell, let's say, the stores and the containers, market women who are stationed at one place, mm -hmm. so that thieves or Arabs cannot come there. Now we have one, that one, when we do it, uh, when the Arabs come and your shop is here, when they stand there, they will not see that there is even a shop there. Okay. The place will be vacant, to be blared. They will plan that today we are going to steal Mamiyofua. When they get to where the Mamiyofua is, they will not see any store there. It will be invisible. They will say, ah, where the shop is here? They say, ah, are you mad? Where is the shop? We are not seeing any shop there. Mm -hmm. They will talk and they will go. Next morning, when they come, they will see the shop is there. They say, ah, but yesterday we came here, we didn't see the shop. They will come again. Nothing. That's protection. <laughs> There's another one too. Mm -hmm. When the robbers come now, mm -hmm. they will get stuck there. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can't move again. They, move. They, they can pour asleep. asleep. Then, with their guns and all they do, they have trouble. Power pass power. 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 Pass power. Pass what? Power. So they will meet the territory. Uh -huh. He said, call, call unto me. me into a times of trouble and I will show you hidden things. <laughs> Christians, hey, I say God worship is sweet too. I'm assuming yet there. When you know the Bible, mm -hmm. brother, forget. The thieves will stand there, mm -hmm. inactive. They can never move. Till the next morning, we come and catch them. Then you tap the person. Hey, what are you doing here? You say, hey, me, what am I doing? You grab the person. 
You understand? There are so many ways of protection. Now, if I want to go deeper, there, there is some kind of protection against our robbers and thieves. Mm -hmm. Before you can do it, you have to get the clothes of what? An armed robber. We don't do this talk. Oh. Mm -hmm. We know what we talk about. This is deep. Very deep. This is deep. Highly deep. I will tell you, madam, can you get the proof of a thief or an hour robber? I say, hey, so where am I going to get it? I say, yes, this is my work, I will get it. I've done it for people. <laughs> that one, you know porcupine, porcupine. Yes. A person will say, the kotoko, no. Yes, I need one kotoko. Mm -hmm. Plus the proof of the hour robber mm -hmm. or thief. When they be catching thief, mm -hmm. when they beat them. they beat them. That is why I say things that people regard, mm -hmm. people try to fear them. Mm -hmm. Me, when I go and they are beating some thief, Nobody want the growth, but because of knowledge, I know the importance of what the growth. You know, when they bring him and kill him, I mean, I don't care. I'll go and take the growth. I know what I can use that growth for. Hmm. I used to do protection. You put it. You have protected him, his home. You understand? And his property from all harm. Not even one harm. All what? Harm. Yes. Satan is teaching us. So, so do God show Job how to do it. The protection. Uh -huh. I bet those ones know their deep secret. Deep secret. Uh -huh. You read other verses. You say God built a wall. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, did God go and bring cement and uh, <laughs> laborers no, no, to no, come? No, 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 yes. No. Spiritual war. That is it. Spiritual war. So they have to do spiritual work for you to protect you. So that no evil, Satan himself was not even able to penetrate. Until God removed the protection. Mm -hmm. Now Christians don't have protection in their life. There are 12 areas in every person's life. Right. Your life or your health. Your that is why some people can get sick always. Mm -hmm. That is your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to protect your life. Your physical body as what? you are here. Mm -hmm. You have to protect yourself against sickness, diseases and things. Yes. Yes, because spiritually, you know, mm -hmm. witches and evil forces can harm your life. It's true. Like someone going to you and will jinx you or will do you the juju, juju. Black, power. black power. Yes, it is your life. It's your life. So you see that you get stroke or you, you break down no. or you get sickness mm -hmm. or you can't do anything. You've not protected your life. The second part is um, every human being has gotten a house that controls his finances or money. You understand? So your finances, your money, you have to protect that aspect. That's your warehouse. Your warehouse. The money is there. Mm -hmm. But if you don't protect mm -hmm. it, evil people can touch that money. And you're not getting money. So I know many people that witches or evil forces have spiritually taken their money, money from them. Yeah. And those people are poor, poor, and the riches are rather rich. Right. They are using someone's money in addition to theirs. Mm -hmm. You get me? So you have to protect yes. your money. That is why people sell and the business does not go. Someone says, so for, uh, oh, Pastor, when I do business, uh, the money comes, I will not know what I will use the money for. Or when the money comes, I just misuse it. Mm -hmm. Or the money leaves my hand. Or if I don't get this amount of money and it will not finish, another one will not come. You've not protected your finances. The second one is your job. Your job. Every person has job, has a job house. Now, let's say you are a baker. Mm -hmm. Other people are also baking. Now, it becomes a competition. Mm -hmm. So your fellow brother will go to some evil juju man mm -hmm. or evil pastor. Mm -hmm. Now they have evil pastors. So it's true. Hmm. Evil place. Mm -hmm. Then you say this man's job. job. You know, you can't tempt yourself mm -hmm. or your money by your job that you break it. Then they will destroy your, they will do work against your job. Sometimes they can come and pick the sand from your job mm -hmm. when you close. Sometimes too, the person will come and buy something. Mm -hmm. It's the money. They will work on the money and they will give it to you. When you mix it with your money in the job, but they will destroy your job. So we do work protection against mm -hmm. our job. job. Me, I'm a pastor. Mm -hmm. You see, it is my work. Mm -hmm. So I protect the work too. Because even among we pastors, yes. they are jealous pastors, yes. they are evil pastors. Because you are moving forward, you know. You say, ah, this man is church is moving on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm, let me destroy. So many pastors are doing it. 
instead of them praying, mm -hmm. seeking for spiritual mm -hmm. knowledge to move on, they would rather go and to places. Envy and go to places and destroy your church. But when you build your church on a solid rock, mm -hmm. when you protect your church, when the person tries that he is fighting God, oh. God will fight that person. Angels will fight that person. So many pastors' churches have closed down because they didn't protect their church. Do you get me? You cry when you build a house, don't you put a wall around it? So when you are doing a church, a church is a spiritual work for your creator. He has given you the church, do the church. But you have to protect the church. Against witches, number one. Evil forces and evil people. You understand? Pastors. The members will come. One month, they will all go. They will come. They will go. People to bring confusion. Me, my church. Hey, don't try. Because I have crap. See, if I ask you a strong word, say why? Say, you there, when I came, you have protected your church. But I say, but we are not joking here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I say, you, you are going about to destroy people's church. I say, eh, they have not protected themselves. So you treat this our job. And I say, yo, I've heard you. So you have to protect yourself. God said, I am the God who created the witch, the evil person to cause havoc. So it is their right. You just have to what? Protect yourself. That is why Satan taught us. Now, the fourth one is your house. Every human being, human being has um, where he sleeps, where you stay, you stay. The forces around the area, the people you are living, where you were born from, is also your house, your mother's or your father's house. Your family. Yes. Last time I was teaching someone that in Zachariah one verse two, there are certain horns, four horns in everyone's family. Yes. They are there. If you are rising, they will bring you down. So where you come from, you have to seek protection. 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 Because that is your root. When you are traveling and they know you, mm -hmm. if they want to destroy, they will destroy you. Now, the fifth one is your information house. Now, you have to protect your information house so that if someone calls you, it is positive. positive. If someone promises you something, it will not fail. So, so many people have promised and what? Fail. Because they have not protected their information house. Pastor, that's why it's deep. Very deep. It's deep. Highly deep. Yesterday, a certain woman called me. He said, Pastor, <laughs> the way I'm suffering here, if I don't take time, I'll kill myself. And I said, Relax. Relax. Don't kill myself. See, sweetie, why? He said, She has applied for a job. They will call her mm -hmm. to come to the job. When she reaches there, reaches there now, they say, Madam, you will not take me. More than five times. That's she doesn't true. understand. That's she hasn't protected her information what? house. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. We have certain works. Mm -hmm. I can even teach on people. Mm -hmm. You know people who are gossip. Mm -hmm. Let's say God has arranged that a certain man should call you from UK, UK. and give you some contract. Especially the contractors. They mm -hmm. always come. Mm -hmm. They say, ah, pastor, someone gave me some big contract. Then a friend of mine had it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened and the contract has been terminated and the contract has been given to you. Say, yes, you've not protected your information. What? House. House. You see? Gossipers. Gossipers. When they get that information now, oh, this one, don't give him the contract. Right. It's a wicked man. Mm -hmm. He will not do the work. But when you protect your information, nobody. That is where the marriage, you know, mm -hmm. we protect our marriage. You go and marry a very beautiful woman. You understand? Yes. Then the envious people will come into the marriage. This your husband is a humanizer. He's this, he's that, he's that. If you have protected your marriage, whatever they tell the person, it will know what? Tell the yes. The yes. Only you pay you what? You hear. People call me, Pastor, now my wife don't respect to cry. Mm -hmm. If I tell my wife this, she will not do. She will not obey. She's listening to what people are saying. I say, Master, are you protected your marriage? No. He say, how do you protect your marriage? He say, go and ask your pastor. Pastor Christ does not know that you protect your marriage. So him, the man who has married the wife, when he tells the wife something, he doesn't listen. So there is a work we can do to bind you together. Only you can break it. Only you. You talk to your wife, but your wife will listen. You understand? Yes. Yes. So you have to protect your information house. house. Then you have your thinking, your thinking. thoughts. Every oh. human being. Everybody thinks. Yes. Hmm. Your thinking has to, you have to protect it spiritually and physically so that evil forces cannot cannot know your thought. Me know if you are sitting here, I can read what you are thinking. Which is what evil for they can do. But me know, I protect my own so you can't read my steps. 
Yes, I wanted to teach people this how to protect your information house. Yes. Now, no, but you know ashes. 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 Yes. From the fire. From the fire. Uh, you get ashes from the fire. You go and pick like this one. Mm -hmm. You can stand at the north, mm -hmm. this direction you face here. Exodus 9 8. God told Moses to go and pick a handful of ashes and blow it towards their enemies. It shall turn into balls onto his enemies. True or false? True. <laughs> The Christians here, we are funny. We are just holding the Bible. We don't know anything. We are in the church praying here, Baba, here, Baba, not a sacrament. Go and take common hashes. Your hand full. Pray on it. Oh, Lord God Almighty, you are the one who gave us this direction against our enemies. Every evil ear, every evil ear, evil eye, and evil mouth, these are ashes. I blow it towards my enemies spiritually and physically. All their concern on their gossip. You should turn into problem for them. Yep. Then you blow it. Ooh, we are done. Hey. <laughs> Pastor, this one is not a Baba matter of us. No, 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 no. Spiritual knowledge. Spiritual knowledge. So it's a lack of knowledge. knowledge. When lack people suffer. Perish. Oh, that thing is here, Keke. Hmm? It's here. There's another one I can show, but that one people will use it to rough from. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, Alam, Alam, Alam. If someone is doing gossip in your marriage, someone is doing gossip. Every day bringing confusion between your husband or your relationship or your wife or your family matters. Yes, Alam, Keke, Alam, Keke. But you know Alam. Yes. Yes. That one, we know the spiritual importance. Sir. Hey, mm. that one here, I will not show you here. Yes. You get the person's name and the Alam. I know what to do. I will show you. Hey. Get some cloth. You put the alum inside the cloth. You 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 do like bottle, like a sack bag, yes. small one. You put the alum inside. You put the person's name inside. You add some something, but I will not add it. Then you tie the alum. You go and hang it somewhere. So for mm -hmm. the concern person within one week, if you continuous gossip here, this mouth, the mouth used to do the cocoa, it will swell mm -hmm. to become boys. Boy. Now, if your mouth become boy, will you get? Mouth to go and gossip again. No, no, no. Lack of knowledge. People what? Perish. Perish. Yes. Then we come to your marriage. Mm -hmm. Every person has a marital house. House. You have to protect your marriage. You have to protect your marriage. Christians have to protect their marriages. Marriage. Because of that, you don't protect. Marriages are breaking left and right. right. Some people are married, but the woman is listening to the pastor, the pastor. not the husband. The woman is listening to the mother. Okay. Not the husband. Hey, it's not easy. Oh. Well, when the so husband right. talks, that yeah. When the mother talks, uh, yeah. Hey, it's a problem. But God said, woman, listen to your man. Because he's the head. And I, the Lord, I am his head. But because you've not protected your marriage, problems will come in. They are coming. Then let's go to your death house, dear. Yes, death house. Let me enter there. That is the eighth house. Every person has a death house. The time you will die, God will kill you. Or the way you will die, you have to protect your death house so that when someone go to another place to kill you or take your soul, like they can't kill you, so you have to protect yourself. You understand? Yes. You have to protect yourself physically. You have to protect yourself against gang, yeah. against what uh, cutlass, against accident. Accident. You understand? Yes. One time I was in the north. I was riding motor with someone. Then always they asked, "Why is he master?" Wear helmet to wear helmet, so maybe I know my helmet. The first day I had accident, I saw that yes, yes. helmet as a protection is highly important to Papa. Pastor, it wasn't easy. Yo. Hey. <laughs> my friend was riding the motor, mm -hmm. no. Jean the skills, mm -hmm. Jean the skills, sir. So there was a sharp curve, the banking. When he curved now, there was, it's, there's a market there. He slided. Then we on the floor. Mm -hmm. Come and see. The motor was moving, mm -hmm. skating us on the, on the floor. Mm -hmm. So the motor went to hit some stamp, mm -hmm. then we rose go to. He somersaulted. I somersaulted about three to four times. 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 When my head hit the ground three to four, I said, oh, yeah. I was lying there like this. The people were saying, Okuya, yeah. Okuya, Okuya. You know, it's Kusasi land. Yeah. They say, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah. No, I stood up and I said, Kai, Mankuya, Mankuya, I am not dead. Yeah. I am not dead, Kura. Yeah. Say, Kwe. You did not die. And I say, yes, yeah. God has protected me. I have done some accident protection. Mm -hmm. Media, I, I, I have told you I'm a spiritual man. 
God is a spirit. Our enemies are what? Spirit. You are also composed of the body, soul, and what? Spirit. spirit. <laughs> now, my master has done some protection for me. Uh -huh. So, I didn't die. Uh -huh. But I had some bruises on my body. Again. Yes. Yes. You have to protect it. Then, I saw physically that helmet was highly what? Important. Important. If not, then I would have broken my neck and died. You get him? Yes. Yes. So, you have to protect yourself against unfortunate deaths. Witches yes. or evil forces, they throw someone, the stomach will do it. You are born and guess it. It's not your time, exactly. but you, because you've not protected your death house, you know, those evil forces can touch you. That is why Job 1 verse 9, God told Satan that don't touch his heart, his life. That is his death house. If not, the wicked Satan would have killed um, um, Job. Job. So he gave him a warning. You can touch his, his life, life, his money, his, money. his work, work, his house. You see, he lost yeah. all those things. Yeah. That's what I'm explaining. Yeah. This information. Yeah. You know, his friends were telling me to curse God. God. He's thinking, say, change your mind. Yeah. His wife yeah. was destroyed. Yeah. You see, the wife left him. Yes. You understand? Yes. Then the death house there, God left that one that don't touch the guy's life. life. Then you come to your dreams. Your dreams. Evil dreams, bad dreams. Bad dreams. dreams. Now, Dreams is another way of you succeeding or failing in life. With time, I'll come and teach about dreams, the meanings of dreams. dreams. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Dreams, you know. Um, Job was having evil dreams. dreams. That dreams it was caused by Satan. Satan. So he even said it at night. The devil gives me irrelevant and nonsense dreams. You see? Because he, he doesn't have protection in his dreams. dreams. So you man, you have to get protection in your dreams. Those who don't dream are highly in trouble. What is ahead of you, God is showing you, you don't, you see. don't see. The good which is coming for you to grab it, you don't, you don't see. see. The bad which is going to happen to you, you don't see. So those who don't dream have serious yeah. problems. Every strong spiritual man does not joke with his dream. Spirit. So I don't joke with my dream. So At all. See, my dreams are even important to me than the prophecies and the visions. Because when I sleep, now what will happen tomorrow? I have to see everything clear. That is why I advise or teach people to be sleeping on a pillow made with cotton. cotton. Not the foam or the the, 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 the the clothing they put in the pillow. Yeah. Buy or look for pillow that has gotten the cotton, cotton, cotton seeds in it. Naturally, Naturally, that kind of pillow, when you lay your head on it, if you don't dream, you will, the dreams will come back. If you are a pastor, you will see the problems mm -hmm. of what? The church members yes. and to also give you solutions it is a natural That's thing it. it is nature. nature you understand yes so god has prepared everything by because of lack of all, nice. knowledge so your dreams you know they can destroy your life through your dreams, dreams. that's why someone will say i saw a dream uh, i was in my dream someone shot okay. me now when they shoot you in the dreamer it means someone has done you to do it or someone has changed you there are two you know, when you are shot in the dream yes yeah, obey up to a draw. Someone has changed you. Yeah. That is the meaning. Yeah. So, one month, two months, three months, you see that sickness. Mm -hmm. If you don't take time, you are dying. You understand? Yes. When you see a dog mm -hmm. in your dream, a witch, mm -hmm. brown, black dog, be very careful. Mm -hmm. A witch is trying to give you sickness. Mm -hmm. Or prostitution. Mm -hmm. Or spiritual marriage. You see, someone can dream. People are funny. Mm -hmm. Someone will say, uh, I've been having dreams. People are chasing me and I flew and the person is happy. Hey! <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> Your enemies are pursuing you, looking for you. Mm -hmm. The reason why you flew, you don't even understand. It, and you say, my dream is good, though. I flew. Sure, evil forces are fighting for your life, pursuing to kill you. And as a result, you were able to fly, you know. God is telling you that put, seek for protection for your enemies are highly against what? Against you. Then you say you fly. Next time when you can't fly, what will they do you? They will kill you. Ah! And you say, and I flee. First, you have to look for solution from a strong spiritual man of what? Of God to help you. God is telling you your enemies want to kill you. Pastor, do you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. So we have to protect our dreams. Now, let me teach them. This one is called Saint Leaf. Saint Leaf. Mm -hmm. no, no. Saint Leaf. Yes. Saint Leaf. Saint Leaf. Now, those who don't have good dreams, you can look for Saint Leaf or a confirmative call. Today, I don't have it here. A confirmative call. Yeah. Highly good for dreams. 
if your dreams are not coming here, or your visions are blank, or you have evil forces in your dreams, sir. Yes, now no, look for same things. If you are a man, early morning, 5.30 to 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. go and plug this one 30 times. Send coins, 70 pesos. Go to it. Oh, plant. You know, God created you for us to use you. This is my hand, 70 pesos. I'm giving you to you to come and take you to go and work with me. Then you put 70 pesos under the tree. Then if you are a man, I'm repeating, a man, block 30 of the leaves. Or 34. We don't joke with numbers in this world. Numbers is everything on this planet. A man, 30 or what? 34. A woman, block 40 or 44. Pastor, a woman, how many? 44. Or 40. That's all. Now, when you plug them, bring them to your house. Get your pistol and your mortar. Pound them. When you are pounding, don't talk to anybody. When someone greets you, don't mind the person. Pound the person. Pound the, sorry, the leaves. The leaves. Yes. Add water. Sieve it with the net. Net. Go and look for cutlass like this. This is my cutlass cry. It's dead. Fresh cutlass. Wait, sharp it. Hot one for me. Sharp one for me. Yes. Put the cutlass down like this. Stand on it. Then, when you stand on the cutlass, you see this place is sharp. Yeah. Uh, let it face outside. It should not face you like this. Mm -hmm. It should face like this. Then you stand on it. Mm -hmm. Then you use the water no, of the leaves. Mm -hmm. you, use it to, you stand on it with your two legs. No? Mm -hmm. Then you use to rub your body. Then you are praying, God, any evil forces, evil manipulation, mm -hmm. evil enchantment, which is promise and faith, disappointment. Mm -hmm. Anything I do doesn't work for me. Clean it away for me. Mm -hmm. Sanctify me. Purify me. Fortify me, you see, because this one it has got natural power, natural spiritual. We have ability to do too much, too much power. Sensitive food here, I don't joke with sensitive food. You see, I'm doing it. This one, don't try. Use it to bath yourself. You understand? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one week. And let's see if you have bad dreams or not. Promise and is appointment hashes. This is a full time protection. I'm teaching Christians. See, pastors are even the people who need this kind of protection. Helps here yeah, with the cutlass. Pastors will tell the brain cutlass, we are coming to King Satan. You have stopped it proper. The way pastors like fooling Christians, the way they like fooling, <laughs> we are going to King Satan. How can you kill the spirit? Why well, are you not a spiritual person? King Satan with cast. Hey, cut Satan with the cutlass. Mm -hmm. Or which is with the cutlass. Mm -hmm. You are joking. This is the right direction we are supposed to teach the members. Not telling them nonsense and deceiving them. Yeah. Put the cutlass there. I say go and get this one. Man, 30 or 34. Woman, 40 or 44. This is free remedy. Yes. Pastor, this one. Yes. Hmm. Sieve, pound. Just buff it one week. One week. You now will call me and give thanks and praise to Almighty God. Media don't thank me, give it to God. You understand? Yes. I see every kind of problem. You there, you say they don't dash you thing. You there, when you see your business is not working. Hey, I see no problem. Now, no, you see the cutlass. But this one combination. Yes. Spiritually, your spirit you know, inside you, you know. When you sleep, uh, your spirit will take the cutlass right. and it will chase or pursue the evil forces against your life. That is one. one. Two, spiritually, this cutlass will be, will be, will be moving around you, protect you around, will be protecting your yes. life. Your life. So when the witches and the evil forces see you, they will see that you have a cutlass yes. around you, you, around you, surrounding you. So they will not come closer to what? To you. To you again. This one is not prayers. This one is not fast. It's not late. People should go and do. It can solve every problem. This one has to do spiritual marriage. This one, I used to solve spiritual mind. The new man, this one. But there are other two helps I have to add to this to fight the spiritual marriage. This is a stubborn spirit, too. Spiritual marriage. Hey. Are two? Hmm. Very stubborn. Ah! What is deliverance? You are joking. What is fasting and prayers? Spiritual marriage. That spirit. You could say you are fasting. That day. That day, cry, you come and sleep well, well with you. Some in the church house. <laughs> 
even in the church house. house. How can an evil spirit come to the God's house to come and sleep with someone? Yes. The church itself, there's no power in the church. Yes. You are doing church, no incense. See, as soon as 30, 34, he said, make a holy incense, yes. put it on the tabernacle, on the altar, where I will meet with you. With incense, no. No spirits can even come to the church. So with that he said, the spirit will come there. Hey, he said, so what spirit do? Do fasting in the church, you come and sleep with you in the church. Mm. Ah, <laughs> Pastor say you have to confess. He's confessing. They, that they is the truth. Every day. Hey, they confess it's not easy, yo. Hmm. This is the solution. solution. So this one, there are two helps I have to add. Mm -hmm. Then there is a time we fight spiritual magic. We don't do it any time. Mm -hmm. There is a time we fight it when the moon comes. That is the time we fight it. So Pastor, uh -huh. let me finish the last three. Uh -huh. Then after your dreams. Come to your position, position in life, position. brother. Highly, position. highly important. Highly important. important. Position, position, position. Hey. Would you not be a? Never joke. Never joke. You move you. See, don't protect it. Where we are in Africa. Ah. <laughs> One post can you, you get, get the attacks, the problems, yes. the suffering yes. you get, you know, when you don't protect your position. So me, you know, let's say I am a teacher. I've been graduated into a, a headmaster. I have to protect that position. Otherwise, stroke or some nonsense sickness or unquestion. See, they can work someone uh, like a manager, headmaster. Oh, my former headmaster, he had the headmaster position again. Mm -hmm. Then they put drunkard on him. Oh. Headmaster can lose in unquestion and she sit on him. Look at that. Disgracing. He didn't seek for protection. protection. But as for that one, they will know. You see, someone's position now, he doesn't have one seat. Mm -hmm. He is suffering. Someone mm -hmm. say, Pastor, I used to travel abroad like, 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 like trot mm -hmm. like a, a, a public bus, mm -hmm. in and out. But now, what you didn't eat is a problem. Mm -hmm. When you had money, you didn't seek for spiritual protection from the Lord. Now you are suffering. Let me go to the next one. Mm -hmm. The last part one is, everyone has an ambition mm -hmm. in life. If your ambition is to become a great brother, pastor or prophet, you have to protect that ambition. If you want to become a doctor, you have to protect it. A teacher, you have to, work to protect it. A nurse. So you meet some people say, oh, the way I was intelligent in school, I wanted to become a nurse. Now look at me, I'm selling eggs. Look at my legs. I work and people are not even buying. You didn't protect your ambition in what? Life. The last one is the last house. It's called um, the spiritual enemy's enemy. house. Every human being has enemy, spiritual or unknown enemies. enemies. Even physical enemies. enemies. You all have enemies. Yes. So you have to protect your, yourself. Physically, protect yourself against metals. metals. So we have different types of protection. Some you can use glass. Mm -hmm. and you can use metals. metals. No, they are, we have three types of metal. Black metal, like the iron rod. Right. Then we have silver, oh, silver. Or, or silver, white metal. Then we have yellow or gold, like the brass or yeah. copper. copper. You combine all. Then we have some writings from the Quran and the Bible. We mix them. Then you buff. So if someone use a cutlass or any metal to cut, you are still grinding. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You see, if fight karma, mm -hmm. you throw your hand, uh, you take the sick and cut. The thing is not going. Will you stand there or you run? You run. You say yes. In the land of powers, there is no argument. You understand? Let me dash this one to parents. Uh -huh. there, is a, there is a help called Twitter. Twitter. Sida uh -huh. If you want to be physically strong. strong. Physically strong. strong. Yes. Go, the, the parents should go and approach the, this thing. They leave. They, leave. they should put some coins and approach the whole plant. Right. When they are putting and they should not break, approach the whole plant. If your child cannot work, or if witches are disturbing your child, or your child talks in the dream, or is gnashing the teeth at night, or is the child falls sick every day, you don't understand. Yeah. Hospital is unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Go and get common cedar acute. Pound it. Yes. Mix with water. Seal. Yeah. So for bath the child every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Uh, when the child fights with someone, no matter who you are, the child will beat you. Very what? Strong. Strong. You get me? Energetic. Ah, what is energy? The child, I said the child will beat you. His mate. You understand? Yes. Now, you can also look for what we call... Mahogany. 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 Normal mahogany. Yeah, the back. 
just put it in a pot. The the the, the this thing, the local clay pot. Mm. Put my organ and put this one. How do we call it? Uh, water, pour water on it. Then go and buy needles. No, no man needle for sweet. Buy nine of them because nine months they give birth to what a human being. Human being. Put the nine needles. Now soak it for one week. No, three days. Sorry, three days. Use the the, the water to rub the child. Ah, what a strength! No evil force can try the person. When we just try, the needles will took them. Mm -hmm. We need to learn. We have knowledge. We have to give to people. You understand? Yes. Strength. Forget. So now, people have to seek for spiritual protection from the Lord, so that your business, yes. your life. That is why many Christians are suffering today. No protection. So for, let's go to the next question. Time is good. Where should we seek protection at all? Where we seek protection here? Um, one, if you are a Christian, you have to seek protection from um, strong spiritual men of God. Uh, you know, we have prophets. And we have spiritual men of God. Uh, like Ezekiel or Elisha. Elisha was a prophet. But categorically, spiritually, he was a spiritual man of God. See, he, you know, he can talk to you and ask that falling water to come. He has spiritual works. He knows spiritual names of God. 99 names of Allah. The book is like, I will show Christians something. He has the names of angels, the names of gods, the names of spirits. You see, he works spiritually. He can talk. It's not Elijah who talk to an oil and the oil increased and multiplied. Yes, you have prophet and you have spiritual prophets. Mm -hmm. A spiritual man of God. We you know, like my type, you know, me, I'm a spiritual man of God. Yes, I am higher than a prophet. Understand? Because we have spiritual knowledge. So we you know, God has given us that knowledge into plants. Like this one, like this. One. Um, so we seek from the men of God who are spiritual men. You understand? Yes. Because when you bring someone, if case the person in the stomach has to work, I have that knowledge. I know what to do. Get this, get this, get this. There is a bone from pig. Pig. No. Yes. Just on one bone from pig. We burn it into black. Black powder. And if normal have God created, we give to the person three days, the person will be healed. If you go and give this case to a prophet, a prophet cannot do it because he doesn't have the spiritual knowledge. So you seek it from the spiritual men of God. Now, others also seek it from the traditional people, the fetish priests. They are also priests, like we are also priests, but they are in the traditional way. We have the good ones and the bad ones. So people seek it from the, they should seek it from the right fetish or priests because they are also dealing with God. And spirits, they also have the spiritual knowledge, they can also help you. The Muslims, they will don't go there because they there, their masters or their mothers are already there. But if you have a friend who is also a Muslim and a mother who is spiritually stronger, you can also go there. You use the Quran and other helps to protect you. That is all. Hmm. How is protection important oh. to our daily activities or life? Okay, let me answer this question by reading. Let's send, send me to Psalm 91. Psalm, Psalm 91. 91. Psalm 91. Uh -huh. Psalm 91. I know plenty of people know this quotation. Some pastors will tell people that Psalm 91 used to fight against enemies. It is not against enemies. Let me teach them that the secret is here. Uh -huh. See, oh, we live within the shadow of Almighty, shattered by the God who is above all oh. gods. Hmm. This I declare that he alone is my refuge, my place of safety. Is it not protection? Protection from God. He is my God, and I am trusting in him, for he rescues you from every trap. You see? Yes. You see why? You see, every trap. That means you like or you know like evil forces will, will fight against you, will set you trap, and protect you from the fatal plague. He will seed you with his wings. They shall shelter you. His faithful promises are your armor. When people, when God says put on the full armor, people don't understand. Protection is an armor. So you have to get different types of what? Protection. Now Hebrews 9.9, 9, he said when someone worships God and the person is suffering, you should give offerings. When you give offerings, it's a form of protection. You see? I said here to the poor people on the street. Saraka. Saraka. Yes. Saraka. It's a big time protection. Any evil thing that happens, you know, when you do the saraka or the give here, God sends them away. You are protected. You understand? Yes. Yes. <laughs> then, 
the Hebrew time, when you can say different kind of spiritual baths and under protection. Okay, now let's enter here. So he said his faithful promise are your armor. Now you don't need to be afraid. afraid. You see, when you have protection, you don't need to be afraid, afraid. of what? The dark yes. and any more. No fear of the dangers of the day. Mm -hmm. No death. No dread the, the plagues of darkness. Mm -hmm. No disasters in the morning. Though a thousand fall at my right side and ten thousand around me, the evil will not touch me. So when you are protected, your business can never fall. You see? Mm -hmm. You can never get sick. Someone told you to, to, to not touch you. Your, your 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 marriage will not spoil. Yeah, all evil things. things. That is what Christians don't seek for. That is why they are always suffering. Churches to churches, pastors to pastors. The only thing they have to do and sit down and be comfort is to seek for protection. protection. And you are done. God because bless you. God when you are protected, that nobody can touch your thing. You. Okay. Now I will see. You see when you are protected, see what will happen. See, I will see how the wicked are punished. But I will not see it. You will keep quiet. Right. So me, you know, I'm doing teaching on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I put spiritual knowledge there. Okay. A highly spiritual yeah. man. Mm -hmm. And I go deep and I bring knowledge and I come and put it there helping people. Mm -hmm. Some stupid person will come and insult me. And I say, hey, hey, do you know me? Mm -hmm. Insulting me. Mm -hmm. My own page I've created. Mm -hmm. And I'm teaching people. Mm -hmm. People are saying, Pastor, God bless you. Reverend, God bless you. Prophet, God bless you. You dear. You are higher than them. You are knowledgeable than them and myself. And you come and tell me, me, I'm a stupid person. Now, there's a certain kind of protection we do with the heart of a cow. Mm -hmm. The heart of a cow. cow. You cut it into pieces, 99 of them. Then we get needles, 99 of them. Then I'll pierce it into the, 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 the heart. Mm -hmm. Then you cook it. You do some writings from the Bible. You cook it. Then you pick one. Then you chop. You chop all the 99. After that, you take the piece and you bury it. Now, that protection, it means I have given everything to God. So when you, you touch me, you insult me, God will deal with you, you, you personally. Drastically. Because 99 solid angels yes. are the verses we wrote. I have not done you anything. Me, I'm teaching people, you come and insult me. So me, I not do anything. So this verse says, I will see how the wicked <laughs> will be punished. And I will not share it. I will, not keep, I will just keep quiet. I will not tell anybody. Two, three, four days, you see that. You see the peace are matter. Mm -hmm. You see that the person will get car or motor accident. So God said, touch not my heart. Anointed. Now you can touch someone who is anointed. Like David wanted to kill Saul. And Saul told David, God told David, that, don't touch, touch my heart. Anointed. That is all. You can touch an anointed man. But not all anointed, anointed men can be what? Touched. Touch. Me, you can't touch yes. me. The protections and the levels of protection I have on my body, you know, it is too much. Yes. Every night I am chanting holy names of God. Mm -hmm. I am meditating holy names mm -hmm. of God. 12,000 to 15,000 times. You are not my co-equal. Mm -hmm. So when someone tries you and you keep quiet, you see the problem. You understand? Yes. So David said, I will not say it. Mm -hmm. For Jehovah is my refuge. refuge. I have given my life, my heart. My everything to what? God was Almighty Jehovah. Jehovah. Mm -hmm. I choose the God above all gods to shelter me. You see? Protect me. To protect what? Me. You can go to Fetish place. You can go to other places. But as for David, he said, I have chosen the God of all gods. So protection from men of what? God. You see? First, the, Bible, the Bible is too much sweet. Three of us. Too mm -hmm. much sweetness. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see, I have, I chose the God above all gods to protect or to shelter me. How then can evil overtake me or any black come near me? So when you have protection of God, how do you become poor? How do you have hardship? How do you have promising faith? How do you have disappointment? It can never happen. Because you have cheated. Abba! Hmm. Here is the most interesting part. See? For he orders his angels yes. to protect you wherever you want. They will steady you in their hands to keep you from stumbling against the rocks. So, so that kind of protection, or there are certain kind of protection, when you do it for your angels hold you in their hands. So me, no man going here and come, you know. I am going with angels. So don't try me. That is why I always say, don't what? Try me. There's one protection. Full foul. You will kill it. Then you will pierce the foul with thousand needles. How many needles? 
thousand. Thousand needles. When we do that protection from you, can go to the strongest you do man. Go and insult him and come. He will never see a word because he sees that you are highly what? Protected. If he tries, then angels will bless him and you will die. Mm -hmm. So angels. Now, there's a leaf called Wahagashi. Wahagashi Ahaba. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the English name? Kura. Next time I'll bring it. Wahagashi Ahaba. Now, you pluck 41 of them. Mm -hmm. We have some writings, we write it. Mm -hmm. When you write it, uh, you soak it in a bucket, bucket. Pour water on it right. for one week. Right. Then you, you bath it one day. Okay. Every problem will solve. Because that what Hagashi plants, you know, there are 66 spirits or 66 angels, angels. surrounding it. that plant. So when you, then they are angels. So when you bath it, uh, angels are protecting you day and night. You get me? See you. So protection, you know, you say when you do protection now, uh, it makes angels what protect you. You can safely meet a lion or step on a poisonous one. Snake. So me, as I mean, I can see meet a lion physically. You can't do me anything. You can step on a snake, poisonous snakes. Yes, even trouble under your feet. You step there, there. Nothing would happen to you. For the Lord says, because He loves me, I will rescue him. I will make him great, and because He trusts in my name. name. Now there is a secret here. What name is God talking about? There is a spiritual name of God. That is what I was teaching people. There are ninety-nine names of God. God. You have to know that name. So I have one name I've been reciting every night. Listen to the secret too. He said you give him angels. Angel. You step up upon snakes, serpent and his friends. Mm -hmm. Because why? God says I will make him great because he trusts in my name. name. What name is God talking about? So 99 names of God. No? There is one of the names sir, you have to know, but it is not here. It's a, it's a secret. It's a, it's a spiritual book. You have yes. to search for it. So that name, you know, every day me I call him, I recite it. Uh, then you see, verse 15. When he calls Cause on me, me, I will what? Answer. So which name are you using to call on God? God says, when you use that name now, he will answer you. That is why Christians go to church. Every day they pray. God is not hearing. They are not using the correct names of God. You have to learn as Christians. Okay, let me end. I will be with him in trouble. So when there is trouble, Angels and God are out with me because I know the name of God. That is why the the, the airways no die before no. When trouble come, they can mention some name. I call Akwaji and they disappear. We have God's own there. You have to look for it. Mm -hmm. And you rescue and honor Him. I will satisfy Him with your full life and give Him my salvation. Pastor, time is going. What question do you have? Our topic there is very interesting. If you want to continue, four years will come. There's protection. Have a duration, yes. Protection have the yes, duration or spying yes. because there are levels of protection. Those there are certain protection you have to drink some mm -hmm. writings from the Quran. Some are also herbs, uh, they are different, different. Some are also the peace, different of them. Mm -hmm. So, um, depending on the level of protection, uh, they have it. Why? Because when you have sex a lot, uh, it reduces your power. power. There are certain foods like. Uh, Watch it. Watch it. This thing they used to cook. Kew, kew. Kew. Is it not make? I don't know whether it's not make. What I know is salt pitter. Salt pitter. Kew reduces protection. protection. <laughs> so some protection when we do for you, tell you don't eat salt pitter for one month or two months so that the protection will be in your body. Hmm. So it reduces. So they have um, lim limitation. That is why some people go and do gun medicine. It will be working. Or now to be working, but 10, 12, or 15, or maybe some months from when they shoot them into enter, expiring date and scatter it. You have to renew it. Renew so, God said you have to renew, renew anointing, revival. Revive you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, what can destroy the protection? Oh, sin is one. Mm -hmm. Sin. God does not like sin. You understand? That is why Jesus said we should pray for forgiveness every time. Mm -hmm. When you are protected and you live a holy life. Because the spirit we are protecting you, the angels are holy. holy. They don't like sin. Mm -hmm. So when we do protection for you, you have to stay away from sin. Don't go and follow or take someone's wife. Mm -hmm. It's an abomination. Mm -hmm. We don't hate. We hate it. Uh -huh. Don't go and insult people who are older than you. Whether the person is wrong or right. The way people are insulting another and his friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No good. It's no good in a way. In a way, it's good. In 
in a way it is not good. You dear, you can't do anything about it. Keep quiet and pray and watch. God should help you. That's all. But you dear, don't go and join people and insult people because you don't know the protection they've done against them. Now there's one protection we do with chewing stick. They we are the people to away. We gather ninety-nine of them. Now, when you get the we are people have to away now, ninety-nine. We do some protection, we write for you. Then you drink it. When you drink and when anybody cares you, it will not touch you. When even if you do wrong crime, the person will not touch you. Yes, we have the one that a tree that has fallen as a result of thunder. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the writing for you. That one for pastors. When you speak, when you pray for someone, the prayers will be answered. Mm -hmm. Different forms. Uh -huh. What Could that be the case? Mm -hmm. What should we do? It's simple. Satan has already advised us. Seek protection from God. That's all. That's all. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you. you have to be satisfied. In, in, in this caution. <laughs> okay. 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 So if that is the case, uh, viewers, yes. thank you. Um, we are here to educate, to enlighten you so that you can have a true worship of God. Um, same time, next week, we will meet you here. We say bye-bye.